Hey yo, I'm Tita Ferrone and welcome back to Ferronaville. Last time in Port Taylor, we played the Westbrook household where we end up having to get a new mayor. So this time, we'll be playing the Bagley Winfield household again. So here we are with the Bagley Winfield household. We have Miles and Elle both in their beds to sleep where we left them last. We're gonna let the two of them sleep and see what they get up to in the morning. This is everything that both Miles and Elle purchase while visiting other people's community lots. We're gonna sell all the groceries except for the cheapest ones. And we're gonna sell the animal dish. And this, all right, we'll just, we'll just put it on the floor until they get to it. And I believe I know why Miles and Elle were not sitting at the table together. This chair may not be accessible. So we're gonna pull it out. All right, that should do. I have almost forgotten to roll the ROS. All right. So they have both a minor and a major event. The minor event is welcoming neighbor. Welcome as many walkbys as you can. And the major event is jackpot. Your Sims win a major prize on the lottery at D6 times 50K to their family funds. So they're getting extremely lucky, lucky with this. Oh my goodness. So what we need to do is roll a number from 1 through 6 to see how much money they're about to get. All right. They rolled a 5. Wow. So they are getting 250k simoleons added to their freaking... Oh, wow. That is amazing. They have 256k simoleons. They are so fortunate. Miles can absolutely pay that loan back entirely. We're not going to get rid of the loan jar just yet, though, because Elle has to buy her community lot. Rise and shine, Elle. It's time for a brand new day. He's in need of a shower really badly. She just went right through the door. Okay, girly. She still has the want to flirt locked in. But I think I'm going to lock in the want to be friends with Lila instead. He also wants to earn $100. Yeah, hopefully we can get you there pretty soon. Miles is still sound asleep. And Elle should be finishing up her shower. She's going to go ahead and put those groceries away. And I'll go ahead and have her clean up these dishes because they're really gross. Elle is supposed to be owning the general store, but she does not really currently have anything to sell in it. Like, I could just stick some random things in there temporarily, but I don't know. I might do that. We gotta go see how much it costs first. Yay! So Miles is awake and decided to invite himself into Elle's bedroom to use her easel. Wait, wait, what's that? Oh my god. Um. <laughs> he just screamed because he saw Elle naked. Like they're not about to woohoo. That's what's going on. They're about to woohoo. And if you don't know what woohoo means, yes, you do. Yes, you do. What's up with all the founders living with each other deciding to get with each other, you know? It's like, geez, Miles sure didn't move on from Sierra really quickly, huh? Like, that was really fast. It's as if she didn't literally just die. She literally just died. Oh, they're a little bit too close. <gasps> Y'all hear that sound? They just fell in love. Yeah, they're in love. Yeah, I absolutely was not expecting the two of them to get together. I really was not expecting that at all. Bills of $100. They're pretty much rich now, so it's really fine. It looks like they're done. We're gonna let them get dressed. It's so cute when they do that. At least Elle finally got that flirt that she wanted. Oh, Miles wants to ask a Simba on a date. Um, there aren't really any places for them to go on a date. There's the arcade, but 
I don't feel like sending him to work for a date, you know. But he also wants to play video games. So, play video games. Actually, I've made some recolors of this. So, I'm going to go ahead and recolor it. And while Miles is playing the video game, Elle is going to make breakfast. It's lunch? Is this lunch? Um, let's do the fresh veggies with hummus. What was that? Okay, so I guess they will not be doing the veggies and hummus because I I don't I don't know why. Let's do the sloppy seconds. I believe that's like sloppy Joe. Oh, they don't have a ceiling either. Jeez. What's she cutting herself on? She even cut down the food. She just cut up her own finger. It feels weird to be having sloppy joes at 11.30 in the morning, but it is what it is. Oh. It's okay. You did your best. Ew, there's cheese on it? That sounds terrible. Anyways, Miles, come eat your burnt sloppy joe. Or sloppy second. There we go. Now they're eating it together. Well, I guess they're actually not. What are they talking about? Was that sumo wrestling? Um, I don't want to know the, um, the context of that conversation. Since they have so much money, I feel like we can decorate their house a little bit more. I think that looks okay. Not perfect, but okay. <laughs> right, so L has to use the bathroom. And Miles is struggling to stomach his food. I don't blame him. Ew, don't tell me that's coleslaw. Don't tell me, please. Alright, good job, Miles. Go ahead and clean up for me. Oh! <gasps> L didn't wash her hands. Dude, I had I had Miles cleaning it up. Now you're gonna wash the dishes in the freaking bathroom sink. Gross. So Miles, that's that's not a functional dresser. What's well, not something? So since that dresser is not functioning, I'm just gonna put Miles' clothes on the other nightstand in Elle's room. Well, their room now. Okay, now hopefully that's good enough. Oh my goodness. All right, he wants to buy a game, buy a bubble blower, and buy a car. You know what? Now I'm starting to think, what if I should have just moved L into Miles' room? Because then I could have, like, made this room smaller so they could have a bigger living room than this. Because this is a very small living room. Well, I guess if it comes down to it, I could just expand the house, like, this way, you know? Like, maybe right here. Get rid of this and put a wall there. Because they can afford it. They could they could afford it. But do I feel like doing all that? Is the big question. I think for now, this is okay. If I decide I need it later, then I'll just do it later. Okay? You know what? All that stuff I sold, I could have just had her bring it to the general store. I really could have. Oh, well, I didn't. <laughs> I'll send her to work. And she can just sell some random things that she has for now. Dag, dag. 
Ellis off to work. And here we are at Winfield General. I haven't seen this shop in so long. I honestly forgot what it had looked like. All right, she needs to hire an employee right now. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Look, 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 look at that. She has rolled a want to get engaged to Miles. We are absolutely locking that in. Okay, we now have our employee hired. Let's go ahead and call him in. Hey, Nick. So let's go ahead and figure out what to put for sale here. Just some random things, really. So my idea for this, basically, it's probably not even a general store anymore. It's probably like a thrift store now. But my idea is that, whoa, this means I gotta change out. Is that whenever one of these get purchased, instead of restocking it, I just remove it, you know? Like a one-time purchase of just restocking, restocking, restocking. So it's just gonna be like a random selection, like every time. So it won't always be the same things here. But it turns out some of these things, for some reason, they're set to be like always ridiculously cheap. So this was like free now. It's not gonna work for me. So I'll have to take that one out. I'll leave that one. It's fine. I don't care. Let me see what else I might have to switch out. Jeez, that little cat for nearly three hundred. It's kind of crazy. Um, instead, I'll just make it so that you never buy it, and it'll just always be on this shelf. I don't like put nothing else there. Wait, this too. Slightly annoying. Yeah. All right. Let's get started now. About time. I've been recording that forever. I don't know how long it's gonna be once I edit the video, but that took a long time. Okay. It took a really freaking long time. There's no ceiling again. Come on, man. Anyways. Oh, Abby likes her. Oh, she needs help. Yeah. There's a lot here. They might have chemistry. Oh, here's our employee. It's our first little G star. Uh, I guess Kaden had by an MP3 player. Yeah, we're just gonna close out of that. So yeah, we've hired Kaden Ray to be our cashier. Um, basic cell. What? No, he works here. Hold on, I'm I'm really lost. Hold on a minute. I'm, there we go. That was weird. That was really weird. That was treating Kaden like he was a customer. Like, no, he's an employee. Alright, looks like Nick has purchased a little watering can. So it is no longer available. Basically, that's how we're going to be running this store. Emmett bought an easel. 
but I guess Elle's gonna do the basic sale interaction anyway. <laughs> Thank you, Abby. Oh, she bought one of the gnomes. And Nick bought something. He bought that blanket. Loyalty star. How many more do we need for rank one? Just one more. Cool. There we go. Rank one. Not like we need it, but... 1k. He bought two easels. And we got for a simoleon, too. Very nice. I guess Emmett is gonna buy literally all the easels, I guess? She has chemistry with Emmett, too, it seems. We're not gonna have her check anyone out because she's in a relationship with Miles and literally wants to propose to him or get engaged to him. Either can propose. Or what she's here to buy. He doesn't have money again. Oh, she yelled at her! Oh dear. Man, the easels are about to sell out. It's weird how Abby says she's just browsing, doesn't have any money, but... If she proceeds to consider buying something. Well, it got late fast. Wait. We're getting one of the warlocks. Please don't be the evil one. Please be the nice one. No! It's the evil warlock. What's his name? Chuck? Freaking Chuck. Who are you asking to leave? Oh god, oh god. He's on it. He's on it. Oh gosh. Get out of here and do not ever come back. She's worried. She has bolts with Nick too. Alright. Abby just bought a plant, and Nick bought that easel. Mm. Emmett likes Nick too. <laughs> we have only one easel left now, guys. Those seem to be the most popular for sure. How many more loyalty stars do we need for rank 2? Two? two more. I don't want to stay here too late. I'll probably close really soon, actually. Um. Hmm. Our new mayor is here too, and it looks like he's going to be getting that last easel we have. And there seems to be bolts with him as well. Interesting. Graceland needs some help. There we are, rank 2. If I remember correctly, that's 2.5k. There's a lot of stuff to sell here. Probably not gonna restock for a little while then. And by restock, I mean put a new assortment of random items. Um, I wanna go ahead and close shop actually. No more easels. The remaining customers have left or gotten in line to pay. So hopefully it won't be too long even though kaden is very slow on the cash register but since kaden is a playable sim and i have monique's hacked computer when we get to kaden's rotation if we want to kaden can practice like 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 practice for it at home on a computer except i do not think he owns a computer i don't know we'll figure that out Nice. That she wants a good review and the level 3 business. But we are absolutely keeping this want locked in. How many more do we need for rank 3 anyway? We need 5 more for rank 3. Alright, we're going to go ahead and send Kaden home. So Elle can go home. 
I wanted her home a little bit sooner than this, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. He can't leave because you're in his way. Oh, I gotta put the sidewalk down. Alright, so L was gone for eight and a half hours, and now we are back at home with Miles. Oh, he's in the bathroom. Huh, it seems like Miles has ruled a want to befriend Savion. So let's go ahead and have Miles get dressed, because as soon as we see a walk by, we have to go greet them. And I don't know about you, but if a stranger approached me from out of their house in nothing but their pajamas, I wouldn't go in. Put this book away, it's bothering me. We're gonna have him hop in the shower real quick. Let's just have him do that instead of making him go get dressed. While we wait for a walk by to come, we're gonna let him call Savion since he has a want to befriend him. Walk by, walk by. So he has greeted Lila Nichols. Ooh, they have bolts. That makes me a little nervous. Seems like this is his first time meeting her, possibly. Talking about woohoo. Um, I don't know. Well, looks like they're not gonna get along all that great. Thinking about that woohoo. Talk to her. It's your company. Here we go. He found something they could talk about. Talking about movies. Of course, Miles talks to her about video games. She seems happy with it, though. And of course, she talks about jewelry. Maybe they could get along after all. We have another walk by. I met Devereaux. Um, okay. That was kind of awkward. Jeez. He's twitching. Whoa. Okay. Guess the couch isn't big enough for Emmett. Sorry. And we have another walk by. A very convenient one at that. Because Miles wants to be friends with Savion. Whoa, everybody likes Miles. Oh, he's getting the bills. He is really feeling Miles. Unfortunately for Savion, Miles is a straight man. And then another walk by Graceland. Go ahead and pay these instead of leaving them on the ground. It's kind of embarrassing. All the Sims are hanging out. They all just gotta find somewhere to sit amongst each other. This way we can build relationship with all of them. I hope. I think that's how this works. Talking about the weather and how they would like to see some snow. Well, I'll just start it, guys. I gotta wait a little while. Talking about all the thunderstorms that's been going on lately, thanks to freaking Chuck the Warlock, the evil one. Oh, another walk by. Wow, 
Just find somewhere to sit. There's plenty of space if you think about it. We're outside for a reason. There you go. <laughs> this is actually so cute. Just a bunch of adults just hanging out in the front yard of somebody's home. Bunch of strangers. The weather topic is very popular right now, I guess. He seemed to really be enjoying it. Well, let me see. Ooh, he should cook for all of them. Alright, let me pause so I can um, count. One, two, three. Alright, so let's make food for seven people. Let's see what his cooking skill is at. He has no cooking skill. So I don't want him to like actually cook anything because we already already had somebody die in a fire. Like I I'm I am not emotionally prepared for another death by fire. Like I'm scared. This is a very tiny kitchen. Like if this catches fire, there's no way he's gonna survive that, you know? That is insane. <laughs> yeah, it's about to get crowded in air. Everybody's just being attracted to everyone. This house is truly too small for the amount of people in it. Oh my god, where the the place in here, they just disappear. It's weird. Miles cleaning up after the guests. Everybody likes Lilo too, I guess. He's almost friends with um Savion actually. Alright, he's still hungry, so he's gonna get another plate of that no bake Oreo. Oh Ellis home. Hey girl. Like, this, this living room really is not big enough for all these people. We are going to try to refresh Savion while he's here. Oh, look, they did it! They're friends! Alright. <laughs> oh, yay! Oh, he said yes! And she wants to get married to Miles. He hasn't really any wants about her yet, though. Look how happy he is. Got our first engagement in Port Taylor. Isn't that sweet? Oh, snap, look at that. The rotation's is about to end. Ooh, yes, yeah, come to bed now. Oh, um, okay. Lila, you're being very weird right now. And Graceland, okay. Yeah, let's all enter the bedroom while they're trying to sleep. Okay. <laughs> Let me guess, Emmett is about to come in here too? Yep, there he is. Alright, bye guys. Oh my goodness. But yeah, that's it for the Bagley Winfield rotation. So let's go ahead and update that spreadsheet. Their second rotation is done. They've both turned 20. And they are now both seeing each other. No, that's supposed to be L. Miles. Not even just seeing each other, they're actually engaged. It's really nice. Port Taylor got their first proposal, and it was successful too. Very interesting. We had a Westbrook rotation. Freaking Sierra just straight up died, and immediately we go to the Bagley Winfield household and they get engaged. I wonder what else is in store for the beginning of round one, the official beginning, I should say. So yeah, that means we have three couples now 
we originally had Hollis Stephens and Richie Farron, and then Lila Nichols and Kaden Ray became a thing, and now Elle Winfield and Miles Bagley are engaged. Nice. I can't believe that happened to Sierra though, jeez. So that's it for this episode of Port Taylor. Thank you so much for joining me again. And if you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe so you know when to join us again for the next one. Bye!